Hello everyone, this is Monsef Afkar and welcome to Be in the Bridge podcast. So this is the third episode and it will be about finding the beauty in the world, appreciating it and sharing it with the others around us. And especially these times because we need that more than ever because so many people, like because of what we are seeing happening in the world or in, 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 our, in our personal lives, um, some people start to maybe lose hope and need um, someone who can give them back that that hope that we really can create new earth. We can create a new path, new reality where um, we see more love, more unity, and more abundance um, for for uh, that is available for everyone. And uh, yeah, but then whether everyone will receive it or not it's it's uh, it's a personal choice and i'm not trying to say to ignore what is happening if we can do something if if we feel guided to to take some action yeah that then we need to follow our hearts if uh, we feel to to pray um that's uh, as well like is is uh, is very needed but also i'm talking about being able to direct our focus toward the world we want to really create um, and creating that that new momentum because it, it takes time it's, it's a co-creation between all of us and we need to make that new momentum stronger and stronger by directing our focus to what our um, hearts really want and following our hearts and our calling and also because of um, our past traumas uh, past experiences that that we had, whether this lifetime or our previous ones, when we when we see uh, the the beauty in in an experience in someone, what happens is that we may try to to own that experience to make it last, because it feels like that that feeling that we are having by having that experience or being with that person. It's what makes us like happy, joyful. It's what gives us meaning to our life. And if we lose that, we will feel that that emptiness within. And like I mentioned in in the previous episode about the process of opening the heart and and how it can really help us to like realize and embody like the infinite existence of of our truth of our truth true self and we can do that like there are many ways but one of them is the process of opening the heart through life experiences and i'm i'm not saying that like what i mean not owning it it's not owning an experience or the person is more about appreciating the beauty of the experience while it is there without needing to make it last forever because life is is temporary so everything within it is temporary as well and this may create some some sadness um when we hear that but how to say because we are having a human experience as well and we are ex like f having all these range of human emotions and i'm not saying that when for example, there is uh, someone that we love pass away or an animal or that we love or uh, or an experience that we really enjoy so much. And I don't mean that we will not feel anything and we just go to the next experience like, like n nothing happened. Like it's normal to have to feel sadness or to grieve during that period because they were very present in our energy field and when that experience ends it's like there is an emptiness or space that's that they created it, it becomes more uh more empty and and that is reflected by the feeling of sadness or grief and but the more we are connected to our truth true self the more our heart is open that period of of that transition becomes Maybe it, it can take less time, but also we we allow ourselves to feel that grief, that sadness, 
without resistance. Because what makes that experience last longer or more difficult and challenging is that we we hold on so strongly to to the past experience. We want to to make it come back, and then we don't allow that energy of uh, like that transition to just happen naturally and uh, allow ourselves to be more present, like feel that that maybe void that we are feeling the emptiness and. Uh, yeah, then, then feeling complete and rem- remembering that um, we are whole and complete um, by ourselves. So, and also having those human experiences is what what allows us to understand others, to have compassion. Because when we see someone going through a difficult situation, we can understand that because we, we've been there before. We have that empathy as well. Uh, we, we can feel the emotions, but if we try, because many times when we approach those spiritual aspects or healing, unconsciously we try to reach perfection that we don't feel sadness, grief anymore. Uh, we'll be always feeling like positive, feeling joyful, excited. But if if we are in in that state of being like really being like perfect there w- there will be some kind of detachment from the reality from people around us because we won't be able to understand why they are feeling uh those um challenging emotions so it's it's about finding balance like being human at the same time and processing those emotions without um without resistance without uh, hanging too much into the past experiences and at the same time w- at the same time like being very like more and more connected to our heart allow our heart to be open more and more that brings more balance like between the, the divine aspects of ourselves and the human uh, aspects as well and we may also understand or think that we will not be living fully our life fully when we are in in that state of being because like it seems like we we will be just experiencing life or the beauty of life the experiences the relationships just from surface um but actually is like from from my own perspective is is the other way is where we are not afraid of of feeling sadness or or maybe feeling pain and we are able to open our hearts fully without defending our self without creating walls that save us a lot of energy and like th- that that we've been used to to spend in in protecting our heart and and also because we are not afraid of of those like of the the impermanence nature of life we we can like more experience fully and engage more fully with life and we can really appreciate the beauty of it and then reflecting it back to to the world sharing it with others around us um with uh, with different ways like everyone um have different ways of ex- expressing their their gifts because also finding being able to to see the beauty in a chaotic world uh, that's that's really a gift and and we need uh, we need that and yeah you may say it's difficult to find the beauty in a chaotic world and what makes this possible or easier is really to find the beauty within us first like accepting ourselves without shame without judgment um and really t- treating ourselves in a very loving and compassionate way and it's like taking our hands in in this process that we are going through like the the, um, the collective awakening which can be very challenging like even though when when we fall at at times we take our own hands and then like with loving words with uh like holding um a safe space for ourselves that's we are doing the best that we can and going through that step by step 
this helps us to bring love within us and see the beauty within us in the in this imperfection um, of of being human because the, the, we are living in a dualistic world and we are able to see one side of the duality by by seeing the other is uh, it one help us to see the other it's when we go through those experiences that where we judge ourselves when we feel shame etc like those they give us the opportunity to see the beauty within us because necessarily it's it it, it goes hands in hand like there is positive negative um in in everything in this in this life so uh, so it's more yeah it's more about accepting our human aspects um loving all of those as well and um yeah opening our hearts um one step at a time like every, every with every experience we open it we open it um even even more and and when we have that when we are able to see the beauty within us then we can see it in the world appreciating uh, appreciate it without trying to to own it and then share that that energy with uh, with people around us and um yeah so that was the episode for today i hope it serves you and uh, would love to hear your your uh, perspective perspective as well so you can type it on the comments and yeah i'm sending you so much love and i will see you on the next pod, uh, podcast episode bye for now